Onivia. League of Legends highlights. Powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Because it's Kuro, you see why the Malzahar was banned. Because his Cassiopeia has been decent this season, but not a standout. His Lucian looked pretty bad the one time Game he brought it. Under the belts of the Afrika Freaks. They need oh, to win ADD. three as ADD. Looking to make it a little bit easier, but doesn't fully face check. But in comes Spirit. Twisted Advance was leveled, and that's going to be First Blood going over to the jungler. And that's actually a disaster, because beyond... And, that, and now some more punishment. Remember, it is W level 1. Yep, that's the knock-up to oh, come yeah. in. The flash comes out from ADD, but I'm not sure that's going to be enough, as Marin just smacks him with a root in the back of the head. And that is two very quick kills for the... Spirit's ganking and ganking and ganking, and here's another. Yep, just feels like his team's getting shut down around him, as Spirit wastes no time, just flashes on top of Ian and gets taunted. Doesn't find the knock-up either, as Beyond looking for the counter gank. Spirit's taking a lot of damage and doesn't have the flash. Remember, he used it to try and engage. So there's going to be the flash. Ian finds the kill. Just that aggression you would... Is that a matter? Ian, yeah, actually finds it. Easy ultimate comes out from Beyond, and Ian grabs his second kill of the game. Very close to even on season. It's been off. bot lane so long, even though Tristana has everything up. Well, the hook's going to land. That's just the explosion already. It's a two versus two. And with the teleport coming down from Ian, means that Flash no... Comes in. Hop is going to be back up relatively soon, but Cataclysm starts this fight off. He wants to find the knock-up, and there it is. Marin grabs the kill. As now Ian's going to turn up. The Freak Freaks know exactly what's going on. As there's the quickness, grand entrance. Actually doing a great job here by Tucson as the teleport. Nice Easily remember, no glacial fish prison for this fight and Marin getting exploded does use the nature's grasp as there's lots of work being done Max in trouble heroic entrance coming in Featherstorm is going to help take down the Thresh as ADD now in trouble Marin just playing with vision and ADD is going to fall down Marin survives it's a double kill for the Zaya and one picked up for the tree well 2.5 is going to be the lead ADD looking for Marin nature's grasp comes in and there's the Glacial Prison. Marin should be taken out here. Sat Magic unable to go off like it saved him in that previous fight. And he is punished. And a big oh, bounty action. Oh, Amar should not be face checking. Most certainly shouldn't. And the quickness means that he's just dead. Frame is able to grab that kill all too easily. No Dark Passage in the world. Stop that from doing anything. Marin looking for the Twisted Advance and will find it. But Good Hop gets him out of the way. Look at the damage from Kuro though. Nature's Grasp comes in as Kuro was so, so ready for that Valkyrie, gets over the wall, gets the kill, and somehow it goes to Marin. Not sure how that one works out. Oh, is and that means that people are getting caught, deaths are coming, turrets are going down. Kuro might be caught though. Yep, he's looking extraordinarily dead. Death sentence there is going to be exactly that. And they do manage to get the turret, and now Tushin, he could be in trouble. It's so exactly it's where MVP live. We'll see whether Beyond is going to be enough to do it, but it's in flag and drag range. Spirit is going to make this well and truly the 50-50 that we were talking about. That's going to be the smite coming in for Beyond. So they do at least get the Baron, but Kramer's picking up kills. He's at full health. Ian will be in a lot of trouble. Hook does land onto the Zaya as Max doing some work. Beyond very, very tanky, but oh, look at this. Kramer. Oh, Kramer. Oh, that blade call it. It's so, so much work. Heroic entrance comes down. Kramer could be in trouble. Wins are rough, but he still had the flash. It doesn't matter. That's the ace. Where's your Baron now, MVP? They only got one kill, and that is a massacre. Yeah, we'll hold that point. Yeah, Kramer almost in trouble. Winter's Wrath doesn't find him. Heroic entrance is going to come down, and Marin taking all of the punishment. Massive shield, though, from Courage of the Colossus keeps him alive. And ADD, he's dealt with Marin. Still up, still doing the work that he needs to, and Kramer once again untouched in the back line, just getting all of the AoE. Tucson gets himself out. Buster Shot actually delivers Marin it's to still going. at the same time. And Kramer's just getting auto attack after auto attack. Max is eviscerated on the front line. And Kuro wasn't even there. God damn it. It's Feel another like nothing bothers him at all. Marin once again down to extraordinarily low health. But you know his favorite thing. It's tanking turret shots. And he does so for as long as he likes. Ian now getting cut in half. Marin. Sorry, Kramer just having a field day. So much auto attack damage. And now that 50 gold we were talking about is going to put Afrika Freaks at match point in the world's qualifying gauntlet. This is only match one, but if you can start off with a statement like this, Samsung and KT got to be quivering. It seems like Afrika Freaks have a 7.30 dinner reservation. <laughs>